So, uh, conventional matrix multiplication have a complexity of big O of n q. Okay. Now, let us see the divide and conquer strategy for matrix multiplication. In divide and conquer strategy, we will divide the matrix multiplication into several subproblems. Okay. And uh, the size of the subproblem, the smallest subproblem will be a 2 by 2 matrix okay because in the case of matrix multiplication the smallest multiplication uh, or the smallest matrix itself is a, it will be a 2 by 2 matrix okay so the smallest matrix multiplication happen between two 2 by 2 matrices okay so in divide and conquer strategy we will divide the matrix into two uh, whatever be the size of your matrix we will divide them into two half okay and 2 by 2 until the size become the two by two matrices okay so here we have a four by four matrix okay so we will divide that four by four matrix into four two by two matrices okay and then we will do the multiplication okay so uh, we can see here you can see here we have four matrices one two three and four and we named those matrices a11 and the second matrices a12 and this one as a21 and this is a22 like that we named the matrix b also okay so the c11 in this case c11 will be a 2 by 2 matrix okay uh, it will have a two uh, rows and uh, two columns okay so c11 will will be a 2 by 2 matrix okay and how c11 is computed is that uh, first we will compute the multiply a11 with b11 that is we will multiply this matrix with uh, this matrix okay so the result of that multiplication will be a 2 by 2 matrix okay then we will multiply a12 with b21 that is this portion a12 with this portion b21 okay and the result of that also will be a 2 by 2 matrix okay then we will add these two 2 by 2 matrix and we will get a to another 2 by 2 matrix okay that 2 by 2 matrix will fill this portion okay so here we will get a 2 by 2 matrix like that we will compute as c12 using this formula a11 into b12 plus a12 into b22 and we compute c21 and c22 also using the same strategy okay now if you observe uh, the problem here is the multiplication problem okay and in the very congress strategy we divided the uh, input into halves until the input size become two okay so in this case b will be two okay so as you know our uh, general divide and conquer co uh, complexity is or the recurrence equation for divide and conquer algorithms are a into t of n by b plus f of n okay so here b is two because uh, we are dividing the input into several halves so uh, equal halves okay and um, you can see how many sub problems so a denotes the number of sub problems okay and you can see uh, sub problem means here the problem means multiplication okay so here one matrix multiplication is performed and here another matri matrix multiplication that is total two matrix multiplications are performed here here also we are performing two matrix multiplication here also we are performing two matrix multiplication and you can see we are performing total eight matrix multiplication so this will be equal to a okay so our recurrence relation or recurrence equation for matrix multiplication using divide and conquer strategy will be eight into t of n by two okay now what is f of n f of n is the cost of combining these two results that is adding these two matrices okay so the complexity of matrix addition as you know it is order of n square okay and the addition may some take some constant time also okay so here the f of n value will be c n square okay and you can see here n is given as two a constant instead of one because we are doing a two by two matrix and that value will be a constant okay now, if you solve this uh, recurrence relation using uh, any of the method that we have uh, seen in previous chapters, you will get uh, the complexity as big O of n cube itself. 
okay paris the tibetan congo strategy doesn't made any improvement in the matrix multiplication okay so in the next session we will observe uh, another strategy called uh, strategy proposed by stressen okay that will reduce the complexity to big o of n raised to 2.81 okay at least he tried to reduce okay